is a big night in decision 2014. Not just the results we're talking here, but problems at the polls that we just mentioned. That's right. We're going to bring in our political analyst, Joel Rubin. Besides the problems at the polls, a very exciting night. First of all, what is it about polling and Virginia? <laughs> I'm talking about pre-election polls. David Bratt, yeah. no one thought he'd beat... Um, Eric Cantor in the right, primary, and right. now we have Ed Gillespie leading Mark Warner by the slimmest of margins. No one expected this to be this what close. What is going on? I'm sure all the pollsters are going to be asking themselves questions about that. I mean, the last one we saw was the CNU poll this past week that had Warner up 7%. It's very, I, th I think the gap did close very quickly in the last two weeks, maybe one week, or maybe in the last few days uh, in this election, obviously. Um, and of course, it could be who, who showed up to vote. That's the end of the day, what it's all about. You were looking at the numbers from Fairfax County yes. with uh, Mark Warner. Let's yes. talk about that a little bit. Well, Warner is losing to Gillespie, at least in what we're seeing right now, by you know less than a percentage yeah. point or so, or Razor something like thin. that. Razor thin. Uh, but Warner is very strong. In Fair That's a big Democratic county, Fairfax County. Only 72% of the vote is in there. Statewide, it's about 96%. Mm. So Fairfax is always comes in slow. It's coming in slow tonight. Warner right now is killing Gillespie in Fairfax County. So if that margin continues over the last 28% coming in, that may be the margin Mark Warner needs to win. And I think Andy Fox reported that Warner lost Alexandria. That's right. That's his home? City. Yeah. Well, Andy Fox is always at the headquarters of the winner. So oh. you can count <laughs> well, on all right. if that's where Andy Fox is, Warner's going to win. Yeah. We'll see. Thank really you, close. Joel. Thanks.